What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about three essential wide receiver route running tips that you guys can do this season to improve your game. So we're going to talk about three specific things that will help you guys take your route running to that next level. So I hope this video gives you guys some value and it teaches you a few new things about route running and what you can do to improve your overall game as a wide receiver. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you're maybe not sure what you need to do on the field to improve these specific aspects of route running, press releases, your catching ability, explosiveness, check out that very first link in the description, fellas, for our 28-day on-field wide receiver workout plan. So what it is, it's a full four-week long plan with sets and repetitions with all the on-field drills that wide receivers need to do. We include sets and reps, like I said. We break down each day of the plan. We explain each drill and the importance of it, and we give full-speed examples of each drill. So I hope you guys can check that out. Very first link in the description. If you want to take your game to that next level, let's get started. So first tip I want to talk about here is that you guys got to be able to make all of your routes and your releases look the exact same, right? So we're going to be taking a look at this release here um, from this receiver on the goal line, right? So now the main thing is, is any time you guys get an inside shade DB, you're on the goal line, you're in the red zone, what do you want to do? You want to square him up, you want to attack his leverage, you want to attack that midline to try to really put him on the defensive. So that's exactly what this receiver does. Now there are a couple different things. When you guys square up a DB like this, you're forcing him to make a decision, right? I'm forcing him that if he wants to play to the inside and cheat to the inside like this, what's he giving up? He's giving up the outside. So when you're on the goal line, that sets up that goal line fade, right? And as a receiver, so many guys don't understand this concept that like, okay, yeah, if he takes away the slant, like for this is a design slant, right? You can't just change the play in the in the middle of the route, right? You can't just be like, oh, well, he gave up the outside. I'm going to run a fade. You're not on the same page as your quarterback. You always got to be on the same page as that quarterback. But let's say we squared up this DB and this DB kept his leverage to the inside, right? Like, let's say he drifted to the inside, he took away the slant, and maybe he covers me on this slant. That's fine, but the next time I come up to the line, and let's say I have a design fade call, I want to be able to square him up. He's going to keep his leverage because he's seen this before, and then I give him that same double up, but now it's a race to the back corner of the end zone. Now it's a race to the outside, and I'm just running this goal line fade nice and easy over the top. It's all about making these routes look the same because when you make the routes look the same, the DB can't prepare for it, and then when the DB starts thinking, that's when I can get separation. So again, he does a great job of squaring him up and you see he hits him with that one two he really does a good job of throwing his hip committing his hips and his shoulders to the outside this is what sells the fake because again you, you also have the opposite end of the spectrum right maybe i attack his leverage maybe i hit him with a one two and i run to the fade one time and maybe i beat him maybe i don't beat him maybe i'm backside on the play and i'm not even getting the ball but this is how it sets it up and this is what you guys can do by making your routes and releases look the same it opens up the fade opens up the slant especially when we're in a red zone situation where we know that db isn't going to be backpedaling he's either going to keep that leverage or he's going to stay square and either one we should have a plan for it as a receiver so that's the first tip to make you guys a better route runner something essential that you have to do make your releases look the same going into a game we are not going up to the line of scrimmage without a plan and just i got 20 releases in my head and i'm saying oh, i'm gonna pick one right when i see him you got to have a plan five to six releases to do in a game and they all look the same let's watch the thing again full speed great job squaring him up hitting him with that one two to the outside and then obviously accelerating on that slant great route so the second thing i want to talk about here is being a salesman with your routes and letting the suddenness of your cuts be the thing that makes that separation for you, okay? So now, let's talk about this break here. So there's obviously a post out router. This could be just like a design... Um, a design out route with like kind of almost like a little bit of a post stem. But the main thing I want to talk about is the break before the post and how you guys can sell your route as long as possible. Okay. So there's so, this is a mistake that so many receivers do is that right before they're about to make this break, like everybody asks, how can I be more explosive with this right here? How can I be more explosive with this cut? How can I be more sudden with my feet? How can I create more energy coming out of my route? And how you do that is you got to have that like almost mind body connection to where your hips and your shoulders are so committed to the vertical angle. Angle, you got so much speed into it that you almost force yourself to be sudden with your foot. Trust me, fellas, like the guys that struggle the most with route running and being more explosive with their breaks are the guys that don't commit to the break. What they'll start to do is you see how he never starts to round this thing. His eyes never start to go to the inside. His hip, his right hip and his right shoulder never start to drift to the inside. He's fully committed to this fade because that's what's going to get this DB out of there because he's reading body language. Anybody can run fast, but if you run fast and right before the break point, you start to turn your hip, you start to turn your shoulder that cut at the top of the break will not be as explosive right on the cut yeah you could start to turn a little bit but you want to be committed with your hips and shoulders all the way until you get to that point that's what makes your cut sudden right because when your body's committed to it it forces yourself to be sudden this is the only way you can change direction going full speed off of a speed cut you have to be fully committed your hips and your shoulders have to be committed to the break and that's what will get you off of this thing so make sure fellas anytime you guys are running a route whether it's a comeback whether it's a curl whether it's a corner whether it's a 
post. This break point right there, you have to be committed until the break starts. You cannot start to give this thing away. I see it all the time with guys who run comebacks, right? They'll run a comeback and let's say they're breaking off of their fourth inside step. They'll get to their third inside step, then they start to turn, then they think they get out of the break super clean in three steps, but you gotta realize where's the DB watching? DB is watching your hips. So the second you start to turn your hips, the second you start to turn your shoulder, that DB is sitting on the route, he's expecting the route, and he's gonna wanna drive on this thing. So make sure, fellas, that you stay 100% committed to the break. Let the suddenness of your feet change direction, the violentness of your hip drop be the thing that changes direction. So the second essential route running tip, fellas, make sure that you guys are committed to the break and you don't start to round this thing off early. And a lot of times that has to do with receivers' eyes drifting to the inside. They telegraph where they're gonna be running. I stay straight forward. You're looking over that DB's shoulder, and then we pop this thing straight off. Let's watch it again full speed one more time. Great job of him bursting up, being sudden with his feet, and then obviously getting out of this post out, being a salesman with that route. It's a great job. All right, fellas, if you guys haven't heard about this real quick, we are coming to Las Vegas for a quarterback and wide receiver training clinic for youth and high school wide receivers and quarterbacks. September 11th is our youth camp, and then September 12th, we are having our high school camp. So if you guys, well, it's more so a clinic, I would say. It's not necessarily a camp. It's going to be a small number of kids, only 20 spots per one. So it'll be a great opportunity for you guys to get some great work in. So if you guys are in the Las Vegas area or even close to the Las Vegas area, check out that second link in the description below. Hope you guys could check that out. It'll be a lot of fun. It's a three-hour camp or a three-hour clinic, I should say, from 9 to 12. So I hope you guys could check that out. Second link in the description below. Let's get back to this video. So now, the third essential route running tip that you guys have to do is kind of what brings me back to the last clip that we were talking about. you got to be a salesman with your upper half and you don't want to reach with your feet. So now we're looking at this like rocker step post right here, right? So we got almost like, I would consider this more like, more like an off man situation, I guess, but it's more of like zone coverage, right? I mean, I, I don't really know to be quite honest with you because I can't see the full play, right? I can't see the full defense that they're in. So I can't obviously tell you what coverage they're in, but we could treat this like it's off man. We could treat this like it's zone, maybe where this DB is looking in the backfield and you want to try to attack the blind spot. But nonetheless, this DB, so the third essential route running tip is you got to make sure that you don't reach with your legs and you actually can sell with your upper half because that's where that DB is going to be watching. So now we're looking at this rocker step. So you see when he goes, goes inside foot then so a rocker step obviously and those of you that don't know, like if we were running a post, it's essentially a double move at the top, like a double up release almost. So you want to step, it's like a one, two, you want to step to the side that you're going first, right? So this receiver is going to step inside first because that's where he wants to go. And he's going to sell like he's going back to the outside. So it's selling like he's running an out route, a corner route. And again, brings us back to the very first thing, making all your routes look the same. If he were to run an out route, maybe he runs it a couple times in the game where he just cuts off of one leg and goes. Now we can start to sell that with my upper half. So you see how when this receiver... When he makes this second cut, he doesn't reach. That cut is underneath his frame, but it's able to be outside of the DB's frame. That's the spot that you want to try to get to. You don't want to reach way out. You don't want to try to really extend with the cuts that you're making because when you reach, one thing that's going to happen is you're going to start to lean back or you're going to start to slow down. And both of those things are indicators of the DB that a break's coming. I want to make this DB sit like I'm running to the out. I'm running to the corner. I'm trying to slip to the outside. So how am I able to do that? Keep your feet underneath you so you have more explosion with the cuts. But again, where is the DB is supposed to be watching. He's supposed to be watching your hips. So you actually have to sell with your hips, sell with your shoulders. I call it throwing your hip. You want to throw your hip to the side of the cut. You don't need to reach. If a DB is looking at your feet, he will never be right. He will, he will never once be right when he's looking at your feet. He will get faked out by every single receiver, even if they're a crappy receiver, right? So we don't need to reach with my feet. There's no point in reaching. You don't need to reach to get depth. Keep those cuts underneath your frame and make sure that you sell with this upper half. If you can sell with that upper half, that's what gets that DB to sit. That's what gets him to hesitate or at least get his cleats out of the ground and then I can create a lot of separation. And another thing, when you make that cut underneath your frame and you sell with your upper half, you have that cut underneath your frame so you could burst out of there. You could actually get some explosion off of this cut. You see how when he makes this cut, he's pushing off of this leg to generate explosion so he could get to that third phase of the route, which is what? Which is the acceleration phase to where we can widen the space with this DB because a lot of people can get separation. Not a lot of people can be efficient at the top of the break and keep that separation. Let's watch the thing again full speed one more time. Great job here. We're working this rocker step. So third essential route running tip, make sure that you don't reach with your brakes and that you are being a salesman with your upper half because that's where that DB is watching. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments below, fellas. If um, uh, I really appreciate the feedback. You know, it, re it really helps me out a lot with coming up with new ideas for videos. So I definitely, definitely appreciate it. And again, fellas, 28-day on-field wide receiver workout plan, all the things wide receivers need to do on the field with drills, sets, and repetitions. We have a full 30-minute video where we break down each 
first drill and show you full speeds examples of each one. I hope you guys can check that out. Very first link in the description below. And again, if you're in the Las Vegas area, check out our clinic on September 11th and 12th. Second link below. Hope you guys can check it out. I'll see you guys next time.